it's me, it's me. So PIE. Hey, what's up guys? Opie 0909 back here for another video. And this is a video I was really excited to make. It just took me a while. Um, I got this stuff in the beginning of this past week. and just been so busy I haven't had a chance to, uh, to open it up. But it's an awesome friggin' package from Paul. Tattooed Blu-ray, a.k.a. Slasher Junkie, which was his most current name. Um, I believe he stopped collecting again. He decided to, to sell off a lot of his stuff and uh, was nice enough to message me and ask me if I wanted anything, which uh, obviously, you, if anybody that watches Paul, which I'm sure most of you guys do, he has an amazing collection. <clears throat> so there was a ton of stuff that, that I wanted to pick up off him. So uh, I'm going to go through the box here. Picked up 17 things off him. Um, and I noticed uh, a couple people have been trying to get in contact with Paul like in the last couple of days. Uh, I noticed something. Um, I don't know if he deactivated his Facebook or what. Um, so, Paul, if you watch this, man, just let me know you're, you're good or, or you're doing okay. Um, you know, send me a message or something. I uh, just want to make sure you're cool and all. And, you know, I deactivated my Facebook a while ago, uh, a while ago, a few years ago, just because I just wanted to. Um, and went back on like in a week or two. But I hope everything's good with you, man. Again, I appreciate this so much you know first of all for you even messaging me and second of all for the deal that you gave me on these sending them out and everything like that man i really appreciate it so go sub to paul uh yes he, he stopped making videos but um never say never you know he'll come back and, and make some stuff again uh what i'm going to show off real quick first before i get into the video uh well not into the video get into what he sent me i'm just going to show off a couple things i picked up i don't feel like doing a separate pickup video it's only four things uh anyway <clears throat> first one here don't breathe Got this from Target uh, yesterday. No. Saturday? Saturday or Sunday. They had like a 20% off uh, for their cartwheel app on, on any movies. So I got that for like $16 and then I had a $5 shop kick uh, coupon. So I used that. So I got this movie for like $11 and I sold the code for five. <coughs> I'll, I'll buy new releases all day for five, six bucks. But don't breathe. Haven't checked it out. But uh, it says it from the creators of Evil Dead, which I'm a huge fan of the Evil Dead remake. So um, pick that up. Star Trek Beyond 3D. Uh, now, if you saw in a previous video, I had the uh, Target exclusive Star Trek. Um, a week ago, I got a, an email. Amazon, there was a, a... I don't think it was a price glitch. I think they just lowered the price on uh, Star Trek in the Darkness 3D, which I don't have. It was $9.99. So I decided to go and pick it up. I have the Target exclusive for that as well. Um, but I decided to pick up in the Darkness 3D. So I said, you know what? I really want the 3D of, of Beyond. Let me see if I can figure something out. So... Um, I was able to take the the Target exclusive of Star Trek Beyond back to Target. They gave me a credit for it. Um, I think I got twenty four bucks. The three D here is twenty seven or twenty eight. But again, that uh, that cartwheel coupon that Target had was twenty percent off all movies. At the end of the day, when I used that coupon, it, it cost me an extra dollar to get the three D. So twenty five bucks. I don't consider it twenty five. I mean, obviously, I didn't get that big of a deal on it, but I already considered that money from the the, the previous uh, release I bought. And I already spent that 24 so that was already gone. So what the hell's an extra dollar for the 3D? So I'm really excited to get that. Uh, up next here, let me show this first. Actually, this isn't a movie. This is a figure. And apparently it's really hard to come by. Uh, I know Blu-ray Outlaws has been looking for it. I've been trying to look for it for him since I found it. <clears throat> of course, not having any luck. Um, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. Huge fan of it. Um, I only collect Rick Grimes figures. He's my guy. Favorite character. Um, and he actually... Blue Outlaw was the one that actually, he sent me a text telling me this was out. I had no idea this was coming out. But anyway, it was Walgreens exclusive. I went to like 10 Walgreens, couldn't find it. But I'm in Philly, so there's Walgreens freaking everywhere. Uh, I decided uh, one night to go under the L, which is, I don't know if all you guys are familiar with, basically it's a trunk that just, just runs above the uh, the neighborhood um, on a certain, certain street, a certain avenue. And it's like grimies, like just druggies there, hookers, just worst of the worst down there. I mean, it's just a really sc sc like slimy, scrummy, y yicky, yucky uh, uh, location. <clears throat> but I said, anyway, let me check out the Walgreens in there. What the hell? They have it. They don't have it. Not a big deal. And I went in there and they actually had one, which is crazy. But anyway, it's um Target exclusive, not Target, <laughs> Walgreens exclusive. Uh, Rick Grimes uh, for the TV show series 10 figure here Yeah, some other stuff, but Comes with Rick and then there's like a bloody Rick face the Bust head whatever but a little gun action there. So really excited to get this 
<clears throat> before I had found it, after I tried those couple of Walgreens, I went on to um, <clears throat> eBay, and it was already going for like 40 or 50 bucks. I got it for, I think it was 16 Happy to get that. Next up here, a little package action. Let's open this up real quick. Already, no, I got on six minutes, and I have to record another video after this. I'm going to give Paul plenty of thanks, so I need all the time on here. Package inside of another package, or not package, a bag. Sweet. Wow, this is a beaut. This is a solid ass look over too. This is pretty sturdy. Wow. I got the, uh, it's actually it's for Vinegar Syndrome, Jack Frost, not the comedy Jack Frost, the hard Jack Frost, look at that though, look at that lenticular effect, that is pretty friggin' sick, there's just some of the stuff on the back here, and this is, uh, yeah, it's all region, region free, I don't know if they still have copies of this, I'm sure they do with the, with this little cover, I think this came to like 25 doesn't say on there yeah $25 super excited to get this uh got it during their their black friday sale had a, a reminder on my phone and all ready to pick that up so super freaking excited to have that and <clears throat> i noticed too just the the art underneath is just the same Ooh. all right so there we go now we get into the good stuff all the stuff that paul sent me no particular order here just 17 Random titles, random companies, all horror, obviously, but we're just going to go through. I'm not going to spend much time on them, so let's just go. Get the air release of Dark Water. Screen Factor release, I got uh, Psycho 1, 2, and 3. Needed Psycho 4. There we go, Psycho 4. And all these are in fantastic condition. Some are even brand new, and for the price he gave me, I saved, wow, I don't even, so much money buying them off of him and him hooking me up with this deal i released the slugs he actually knocked out like a, a little over a quarter of my amazon wish list got a grindhouse style grindhouse grindhouse releasing here cat in the brain really very excited to get this comes with the soundtrack there in case <coughs> vestron release of return of living dead 3 Remember liking this movie. Remember watching this when I was a kid. I remember the um, oh the scene. What is it? And like the um, not the laboratory. Oh, uh, what the hell was it? It's been so long since I've seen this, but I just, I, I just remember her and, and the guy and how much like in love he was with her. And even when she morphed into this freaking creature. But so happy to get this. This is spot number four. I've got uh, one, two, and three. Uh, Blood Diner, Chopping Mall, Waxwork, one and two. Uh, Return of the Living Dead three. Is number four, and after four comes five here. Chud two, Bud the Chud. Number five there. And I'm going to get um, replacement cases for these. I think I'm going to go with the silver. I know some people got like red, and some people got black, but I think with that silver um, lay label at the top there with the silver cases, look pretty friggin' sweet. So, so I have to get that. <coughs> Scream Factor release, Lady in White. And I think this has, yep. Reversible cover art, yeah. Reversible cover art right there. So actually, white. Hmm. I don't know which one I like more. You know what? I'm going to switch this around. There we go. Another hour release here. Eating alive. Brand new Screen Factor release, one of their newest releases, Exorcist 3. Oh, oh ouch. Uh, okay, no damage. Wow. This is a movie here. I've been, I don't even say I've been looking for it because I could have bought it like multiple times, but I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. This is one of like the first things I put on my wish list when I updated it like a couple years back. Intruder. 
It always goes like in stock and out of stock at uh, um, on Amazon. I think it's like 18, 20 bucks somewhere in there. It's a little Synapse Films uh, booklet in there. That's so awesome. Blu ray DVD set. Uh, another Screen Factor here. We got uh, Alicia Silverstone in The Crush. Do remember seeing this, but don't remember much about it. Definitely remember watching that film though. Brand new Screen Factory here release Cherry Falls. Brittany Murphy. Then I've got Basket Case 3. Basket Case 2. So now I've got the whole trilogy 1, 2, and 3. Uh, got the uh, Screen Factory double feature of Millennium and Rotor. Really excited. Same thing with these, like in true. I've had these on my wish list for a while. <coughs> like I said before, with these double features, because there's so freaking many of them now, I'm more looking for the, like the action oriented uh, double feature sets. Um, so here we have the Dungeon Master and Eliminators. Apologies. There's, like I've said before, there's not much light out here, but it is what it is. And the last thing here, the hour release of Dead End Drive In. So that's freaking awesome. So, um, I'm only a few away from uh, catching myself up with the Screen Factor Collector Series as well as like the regular um, Arrow um, Region 1 releases. So that's freaking cool. Again, thank you so much, Paul. I freaking really appreciate it, man. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. Again, the fact that, that you, you just messaged me and you know at all and then and asked me that. You know, I've been talking back and forth with Paul for a little bit. Awesome guy. If you guys are ever in the stream, just see always bust my balls, which is which is hilarious and it sucks because he always comes up with these great things and I never have a comeback. I can I just can't think of anything to say back to him and, and, and you know until way later when it's when it's pointless to even say anything back to him. But great guy. I uh, hope you're doing good, Paul. If you watch this man, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Everybody sub to his channel, Slasher Junkie, if you haven't. Um, great guy, awesome dude. Um Nothing much else to say, man. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Thanks for everybody who's going to watch this. Uh, if you'd be so kind, please comment, like, subscribe. Go sub to Paul. He's a freaking awesome guy, man. Hook me the hell up. One of the nicest guys I've, I've met through doing this YouTube thing. You know, and you connect to a bunch of other people. Everybody, nobody on here has a bad word to say about Paul. So hopefully you're doing good, Paul. Um, if you see this again, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but let me know, you know, you're doing good and everything like that and, and whatnot. So, yeah, take care, guys. Out meters Zan. The roof, the roof is on fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. Burn, motherfucker.